Alrighty, I think I am live. Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. This is Lindsay for So Fancy. Hope you're having a great day. We're gonna be doing just a quick project today. So I think I'm just gonna get right into it because uh, seriously, this project has like completely blown my mind with uh, working with mandalas. So uh, this is a no weed mandala uh, hack. So if you love, uh, you know, the look of those beautiful, intricate mandalas, then um, this will save you a ton of time from cutting it and weeding it out of vinyl. So um, I'm going to um, fold the camera around and we'll get started. Just a second here. And I'll flip it down. And here you can see I have two beautiful mandalas that I've already done. So this one is one I did earlier and we'll be writing a blog post about this. Um, oh, hi, Donna. Um, so this one is done actually on a canvas, um, a circle canvas. Um, and it's this beautiful, tie-dye patterned mandala with this um, gold foil or this gold foil, you know, um, vinyl around it. So um, actually for the mandala itself, you don't even need your uh, cutting machine or um, anything. The, the trick is clear sticker paper. Yeah, that's all I did is I printed uh, this um, butterfly mandala, which is from the September bundle and I just printed it on clear sticker paper. And this, uh, I printed it, I already printed it and let it dry because I wanted to make sure that I had um, it, you know, nice and dry for my project, which I am going to be putting on this canvas board here. Um, so this is just a um, canvas board that measures about 14 inches by, to be 11, I'm um, 11 by 14 that I got at the dollar store. And um, it's a canvas that's just um, like on a piece of cardboard here. And then these are the um, clear stick sticker paper that I used um, from online labels. So I have these all linked in the description. And basically, I mean, this is so simple uh, that all you need to do is take a pair of scissors and just loosely cut it out around the edge. So you don't have to be exact or anything, but you want it pretty close. And of course you could um, have your cutting machine cut this out for you, um, but I wanted this butterfly to be as big as possible. So I wanted to size it pretty much the size of this eight and a half by 11 and like eight and a half inch wide. Um, and so if I did print and cut, I wouldn't be able to print it that big. So I um, it decided that I would just cut it out by hand and I cut out the circle too. It's, I mean, it's really easy. You don't have to be precise. And with this design here, I actually um, am going to cover up the edge with uh, some vinyl. So um, what I can do when I get to these little antenna here is I can just trim those off because I'll cut the antenna from the vinyl. So I don't even have to worry about cutting around there. So if you're just hopping in, thanks for joining us. We are doing some men, creating some mandala art without weeding, no weeding involved, but still getting that beautiful intricate design and look of a mandala, you know, like a mandala decal, vinyl decal 
on canvas without actually cutting it from the vinyl and weaving it. So you'll save, be saving a ton of time because cutting something like this out would take a while and then also you, you know, would have the, there we go. Um, you would have the, oh, that's so pretty. Um, you could put like a name or something um, on it too. Okay, so um, what I have here is um, just a printed butterfly mandala on clear sticker paper that I've just roughly cut out around the edge. Um, and what I did for uh, this one, I can actually pretty much align pretty well. But what I did for the um, circle here is I actually took the backing off the sticker paper. We'll be writing a blog post about this too. Um, took the backing off the clear sticker paper. Um, Patty's at, hi Patty. She's asking, would this sticker paper stick to tumblers? Yes, um, it's, um, I printed this with an inkjet printer. So I think if you've got it wet though, um, the ink might smear. Um, if you had a laser, you, could, you can also get, um, you know, if you have a color laser printer, you can get sticker paper for a laser printer and that would probably be more permanent. Um, so I peel, peeled it off here and I actually put it on a piece of um, parchment paper. This is just a strap here. But then um, what I was able to do is actually see through the parchment enough to line it up perfectly on the circle canvas. But this one, I actually don't need to do that because it is, um, I, can, I can line it up just like that. Um, so then all you have to do is peel it, off, peel it off and stick it on. So I'm going to get my little scraper tool. And yes, I just printed this with an inkjet printer. So you do want to kind of be aware that, um, you know, if your fingers are wet, um, you might smear the ink. So let it dry really well. And actually, you know what I could do is I could do the hinge method. Is just pull this back here and cut this off. And then, whoop, whoop, here we go. Put that, I'm just gonna eyeball it here and press it onto the canvas. There we go. And so the sticker paper actually conforms so well to the canvas that you can actually see the green of the canvas through it. One thing though I like to just be cautious about is smearing the ink. So I'll take a piece of parchment paper and um, smooth it over like this. Just so I can really press it down into the canvas um, because the better you burnish it, the more of that exposed um, or more of the, um, you know, the exposed area that's not printing will um, conform to the canvas. And then you'll be able to see that texture through it. So it, you won't even really be able to know or, you know, tell that this is sticker paper. Um, Patty's asking, can you Mod Podge it? Um, I've never Mod Podged. Well, I think you would probably need to seal this because it's print, like if um, the ink would run with the Mod Podge. Um, because um, the, the inkjet printer would just, the ink on here would just run from the Mod Podge. Um, so if you had a sealer over it, then yeah, absolutely. You could put Mod Podge over it. And again, I like to just do this. And what I did with this um, circle one is I actually flipped it over and I burnished from the back side. Um, this one, it's got that hard cardboard backing. So I'm just gonna do it this way. And then, oh my gosh, I love this uh, pattern too. This tie-dye pattern I have linked um, 
in the description as well because I thought this was so fun. This is um, a set of six uh, tie-dye digital pattern papers and I'll show you that in Silhouette Studio. Um, but then, if you can see that, so you can see the sheen from, you know, the sticker paper, but vinyl would be, glo would be glossy too. And then it, you know, it's totally seamless. Like actually the outside of this is hardly noticeable at all. So if I were to put this up on my wall, like, you know, maybe um, add a name or, you know, you know, something cute on it like that um, and put this on the wall, you wouldn't even be able to notice the edge. But if you do want to conceal the edge of the sticker paper, then um, you just cut an outline or cut a border um, of the shape. So I'm going to um, switch the camera to um, Silhouette Studio so I can show you how I did that. If you're just joining us, um, we are using um, this butterfly mandala from the September bundle. And um, today actually is the last day to save 15% um, on the September bundle. So the, bund the September bundle will be bu uh, available all month, but you, uh, you know, so for the first three days that we release a bundle, you can um, get 15% off. And today's the last day. Um, so you want to check that out um, because there's lots of, you know, different designs and fonts and lots of good stuff in there. Um, okay, so here is the butterfly design and um, what you want to just note, like take note of is, is unless you have a wide format printer and wide, you know, wide media, then you're kind of um, limited to that eight and a half by 11 inch size. So um, here I've got the show print border on here so that I can see that I'm within that area. Um, and then as for the fill pattern, um, in the fill pattern area, you know, there's lots of, you know, you can choose a, just, just a standard color, um, but there's lots of different patterns. And then, you know, if you want to take a look at some digital pattern paper, uh, like this tie-dye, you can change it up to, oh, that one's kind of cool, to different, um, oh, that one's more like muted. So there's, um, oh, that one's really pretty too. Um, so there's lots of different things that um, you can do since, um, you know, you might not have tie-dye uh, vinyl, but um, if you've got a printer, you can print it in just about any pattern that you want. So the next thing that we're going to do is um, make a border. Um, so I'm going to cut this yellow piece out of uh, vinyl so that we can um, hide the edge of that sticker paper. And to do that, all I'm going to do is um, do an, um, an internal offset and an external offset. So it's actually easier to do that if um, there's not a fill to this. So what I did is um, just wanted to ungroup the design. And I'm just, I just want to work with the outline. So I'm going to remove all these little inner pieces. Then here, uh, I want to release the compound path. And I just want to work with the outside border. So I'm going to put the border off to the side. And then I can delete all these pieces here. And so what I'm left with is just the outer edge of the butterfly. So I'll go into the um, offset panel and I'll create a tiny, tiny internal offset. I'm going to zoom way in here. I think I'll do 0 0.05. So then there's that line there of the internal offset apply and I'm going to select the outline the original outline of the butterfly and I'm going to do an offset of the same distance 0 0.05 and so now I have um, 
the original line in here um, with an in, internal and external offset. And that is going to be my outline for, and so what I would do is I would just take the original butterfly design and just set that to the side. And then I have an outline that I can cut out of vinyl. Um, so I have one actually here that I've kind of played around with. Um, and since we're not printing it, I don't have to worry about there being the print border on. So I can actually take that off. And I'm going to be cutting um, without a mat. So I'm going to change that to matless. Put that up on there. And then I'm going to go up to the send panel. And then I'm going to switch to the webcam so you can see what I'm doing with the, with the vinyl here. Oops, give me just a second. Webcam, there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> I am cutting a um, outline of vinyl to just conceal around the edges of the sticker paper. So just like this one here but I'm going to do it from this really reflective silver vinyl. So I'm going to bring my cameo in here. Oh, and last month, um, remember, we did the uh, giveaway for the cameo four. So con congrats to Athena from Idaho. She won the um, cameo four. Um, this month, we've got a new giveaway going on. If you purchase any So Fancy bundle, then you are automatically entered to win a teal heat press from Swing Design. It's a 15 by 15 inch press, so it's nice and big. Um, so it's perfect for, you know, like doing t-shirts and all of your fun, crafty stuff, your reverse canvas, Yes, so um, if you purchase more than one bundle, then you're entered more than once. There we go. And then I'm just going to send to cut. And so we're gonna cut that out. Oh, hi, Susan. I hope you're all having a great day. We are doing some mandala art without weeding. So it's a super fast way to get some beautiful mandala art without having to cut it from vinyl or weed it. So this is the only vinyl that we're using in the entire project. Um, I have the bundle, um, September bundle, um, where this butterfly comes from, linked in the description, um, as well as um, the tie-dye pattern that I used for it as well. And actually, if I had planned this out correctly, I could have used this inner part of the butterfly for a project because it's so pretty. I kind of hate to waste it. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure it cut okay. Yeah, it cut fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is such pretty vinyl, I don't wanna waste it. Sorry, it's really, really reflective. I'm gonna trim the end, the edges off with my paper trimmer. And put those aside. And then I think what I'll do, is well, Patty's asking what I would seal this with. Um, honestly, I don't seal a lot of my projects, so I probably wouldn't. But um, one of my favorite things to use as a sealer um, is I've used this. Crystal Clear Acrylic before, um, which I really, really like. Uh, and it's more of like a gloss coat. Um, so if you're looking for something matte, I've also used this um, matte 
clear top coat as well. Um, but for this canvas, I don't think I would seal it. It's going to be indoors. So I think I would leave it just as is. And I'm going to actually keep this butterfly because it's so pretty. I don't have a project for it yet, but I will find something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it up gently so I don't actually, you know, rip it. Normally if I was weeding, I'd just kind of rip and go, but I'm going to keep this. There we go. And I'm going to put it on this parchment. And then now, oh, it got a little bent, but that's fine. Um, now I can keep this um, for a future project. And then I will just weed out this. Outer edge here. And then I've got the outline. Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera like that. And so then we can then transfer this onto here. So actually I can kind of see through it, but I could also cut around the edge here. Uh, now, usually with um, vinyl, I would use uh, transfer tape to transfer it from the backing to the project. Um, the only thing I was concerned about was putting transfer tape over the printed pattern. Um, but I think it's okay. As long as it's had enough time to dry, I think you should be okay. So actually, let's go ahead and try that. Um, because what I did with this one is I actually just peeled off the circle from the backing and then I just put it straight onto the canvas. Um, this is a little bit more detailed, so I'm gonna try it with the, with the transfer tape and then we'll see what happens. This is a medium tack transfer tape. So um, if I had some low tack stuff, I would probably use that. Um, but I do not, so we're just gonna this. Okay. burnish it so that I can lift off the backing here. Ooh, it might, the transfer tape might do that. Might lift it up, but we'll see. There we go. Oops. So pretty. I love this. Okay. So Ahead and then just align this around the edge. Oops. Yeah, no, that's fine. Pull it a little bit there. Oh, that looks so cool. And I'm just going to burnish really well around the edges, but not too hard in the middle here because I don't want the transfer tape to possibly rip up any of the ink from the sticker paper. So that's going to make transferring this a little bit difficult. This I think would be a cute little like a room sign, you know, like um, Lindsay's room or something. 
um, you know, in the kids' room or an office. And really, it's, it's a piece of art, so you have free reign to do whatever you want. And I guarantee you that this was done quicker than having to cut it out from vinyl and then read the vinyl. Okay, so the transfer tape took up a little bit of the ink, but the color is still pretty vibrant. So I think as long as you don't press too hard, maybe use a low tack transfer tape, then um, I think you're okay to use transfer tape to put on the border outline. Um, and so the, what that is doing is um, basically concealing that edge of the sticker paper. So we printed this butterfly on clear sticker paper from online labels. Just clear sticker paper, just like this. And then just peel it up like a sticker and um, put it onto our canvas project. And if you burnt, um, I wish the camera could pick this up a little bit better, but um, you can actually see the texture of the canvas. So it really does especially from afar, give you, like if this was hanging on a wall, um, you would not be able to tell the difference. And then we just added this border around the edge um, just to conceal that sticker paper edge. Although it was very, um, um, it wasn't very noticeable to begin with, um, but that's really cute. And then here's this one too. I really like that. That's a lot of fun. Um, and no weeding, no vinyl, um, because what another plus to that is that um, then you have maybe more rain to do different kind of patterns because I don't have um, uh, tie dye vinyl, but I can, you know, uh, print it with my printer. Um, so I think that's really cool. All right, here, I'm going to switch back to this view, so give me just a second, um, so I can say hi, and okay, I think that's good. Yes, so there it is, our beautiful mandala art, um, which I think turned out really great. Um, no weedy, um, super fit, quick and fast, um, and the both these two designs, the circle one and the butterfly come from the September bundle. So I have that linked um, in the description. Um, today's the last day to save 15% um, with the code SSCEPT15. Um, that's in the, uh, the description as well. And then when you um, purchase any bundle from Sofonsi during this month, you were entered to win a teal heat press, which is exciting. Um, last month, we gave away a Cameo 4. This month, um, Swing Design um, is giving away a, uh, a teal heat press. So very, very exciting. Um, I have um, you know other supplies linked in the description as well. We will be doing... Um, um, it was actually Melissa who, she um, gave me this idea. Um, I, in the description, I linked to a blog post about how to create a border in Silhouette Studio. And then her idea was, hey, what if you did um, um, it on sticker paper? Um, and so then it was, these ideas were born. So um, we will be um, writing a blog post um, about how to do this as well. So. Of course, but if you have questions, you can let us know. And, um, you know, we thank you so much for joining us. I love it when you're here and we can craft together. So thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.